Hi right, guys, my name is Firefire. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn, where we're doing a mod series. Now, if you want to check out all the mods, they're in the description down below. Go check them out, go download them, go play with them. They are amazing. So, what are we doing and what did we do in the last episode? In the last episode, we carried on with our nursery because we're building a district just to raise children to be exported when we need it. I know it sounds bad, <laughs> but it's not as bad as it seems. They get a lot of luxuries. They get carousels, they get saunas, lidos, camping. They get a lot of things. They, they live a very good and memorable childhood. So what have we got to do next? So now we've managed to get all these accessories in here, including the sunflowers, which are looking pretty damn cool. That should keep us our growth rate up to the maximum. Now, I think the maximum is 55% or 65, 65%. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember, but it's around that number. So the next thing we've got to do, we've got to make a way to produce babies, right? So that is one of the goals today. So one of the goals is to make the breeding towers and the other goal is to connect up the power. Connecting up the power should be pretty easy. So we mostly do that at the end. First, we've got to figure out how we're going to do this. Now, I want to make the breeding pods around here. I may need to change the location of this district because it can't reach all of this. And I want to make sure it can reach everything up here. So we may make a little platform here that I have a district on it and then have some sort of access so it doesn't so we can have good path in towards this area here. We only need a little bit like that is literally a couple of blocks and this one is literally two blocks. So we don't need don't need it too much, but we do need a little bit. So we might put that there. We'll figure that out as we go along. So we're in a dry at the moment. But let's see what we're going to do with this. Now, the water does come up to this height, I believe. Yes, it does. So this is not as deep as the water goes. It goes actually deeper than this. So we don't want to build inside this area unless we're building on platforms. And that is the main idea. So I want to build little towers. Now, I want to be making a lot of beavers. <laughs> so that is going to take a lot of breeding pods. I would say at least, let's say one breeding pod does around 16 beavers if they have all the right food. Let's get the calculator. Let's let's do the maths. If I want 200 divided by 16, well, that's about 12 pods. That's not too bad. We can do like um, six pods, six pod towers, so, so to speak. And we can do more. We just can turn them off if we don't need that many beavers. So let's let's just start with a design. Let's um let's play about a bit. So can that reach across? Mm, no, not really. It fits perfectly in perfectly in the middle though. But there's just no need to have that there, I guess. Unless we do I'm actually gonna pause it because I don't want them to start building. We need to start planning first before we start building. So if we do something like this, now do I want to use arches or do I want to use these metal platforms? Now the metal platforms may be a little bit too high, but they could be the start of it. They could be the start of it. But that is quite high. How many beaver pods can I fit on here? If we go to housing. Nah, nah. Not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. I want to make like a spiral. Maybe if we make it smaller. Like so. We'll leave one gap in between. Okay, that's looking okay. Now that is the same size of the metal platform, but it is lower. So we can play about with it a bit more. If we do something like this for now, delete this for now. 
and how we turn this tower into a breeding pod tower. And they've got to have a way to get up as well, up and down. So we want it to be at least this high. Mm, can we do something like this? Oops. Uh, bring this down. Let's get that there. Bring that like that. So I'm just carving out like a little design. That's how I normally work with these kind of things. And when you make a little area that I want to build in, I start carving out how I want it to look. Okay. And then we can have a sort of stairway coming up. I would love to get like, it would be really cool if there was like ladders, right? And you can put it in the middle here and you can just make towers of them. Now, how big is this archway? Because I want to kind of build arches over them. Okay, so we might need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Let me redesign this. Okay, so I've decided to make it this big. Let's put a way to get there first. You can do something like that. And it would be nice if this can actually go on to the next one. Right, that would be pretty cool. But we'll, we'll think about that. We might, we, we don't have to make it go on to the next one, but it will be nice. And then if we put like a little staircase in the middle. And how would, what would that do for us? All right, so we've got the staircase here, cool. All right, that can't go over that. Does that need to be, oh, nothing can go over that. Okay. So what we would need to do is put an archway over that. And I've made it big enough for this archway. Okay, cool. Can I do this without these? Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. So the next floor up will have to be two levels, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Something like that. Then we'll do that. Get uh, platforms in there. Now, it can't actually go over this one. But that, that could be okay. And then we can go like that. Okay slowly coming together slowly coming together and we just need one more there so that's the sort of start of it and then let's get some breeding pods in there we do something like this Won't be able to go there. We could most probably, oh, I'd most actually want to bring this forward. I might actually want to bring this forward a bit. Let's see. Because if we want to go up some more, it'd be pretty much impossible. And this just looks too small to be. It's too much of an elaborate design just for four breeding pods. You get what I'm saying? And I don't think we could make them go, uh, cover them with arches because it's just not, not enough space. 
Hmm. Unless I just fill this top bit with breeding pods. No, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe that can go. We can go back like this. That means we have, no, let's put that properly. That means we have like a little area here. And then can we get up one more floor? in a very convenient way. Just maybe. And then we can go like this. Which then would have some more um, breeding pods. I don't like there's four on this side and only two on this side, but let's see what we can do about that. So that will go like that. I would love two on this side as well. But I don't know if we can do anything about that. Unless I just put like that. And when the water fills up, you're literally only going to see up to the bridge here. So you won't see any of this underneath, which is not too bad. I was hoping to get the tower a little bit higher and a little bit slimmer. Hmm. Okay. For now, we're going to go with this idea, but I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly play about with another idea and we'll see how that looks. Okay. so. I played about with a design like this and yeah, you just can't make the skinny one work. I just can't make it work. It's just everything goes on different levels and all that jazz. So that is going to be uh, deleted and forgotten. So <laughs> if you guys have a decent idea, let me know. Let me know. I'll try and put one in there if it's a pretty good idea. But for now, we're going to go with this. So we might as well do some decorations of it. So. We don't have many decorations, but we can put a few. We can put like, what do we put in the middle? Should we put a bell? How would that look? Where did the bell go? No, that looks weird. <laughs> that looks weird. Um, let's put, I kind of want to put these on either side, but we can put it in the middle there and get some bushes there and maybe put some rooftops let's see how the rooftops look I'm, it might be a bit too much yeah it just might be a bit too much let's see right, if we do that that and this uh, yeah it's a little bit too much But it like that is not too bad. And then we could build like a few of these going down the river. And yeah, that would be like the little uh the little breeding towers. I like it. I'm not I'm not too I'm not too fast about it. I'm 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 okay with it. I don't know what to say, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless at the moment. But um, yep, yeah, so I'm going to build a few of these and I'll see you guys in a sec. And there you have it. Three breeding towers ready to pop some beavers out. Now, what we've got to do, we've got to make a nice amount of blueberries because I don't want to keep the blueberries here. Like they just look a mess. I've just left them there because they grow on their own. They've been doing their thing. But now it's time to get organized. Now we can actually delete these two actually because we've got enough down here um we might need you know what let's 
get rid of all of this because I want to get my district center up there. ASAP. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's make that priority and let's let them start that. All right, speed up. Right, so while they're doing that, we're going to be thinking about irrigation because we need to make sure this place stays irrigated. And we also need to think about how we're going to plant the berries. So to do irrigation, we're just going to do our simple little uh, water drop right here. Nice and easy because it gives us barriers already. And we're going to put a water drop right there. Now that should deal with a lot of the land here. Let's get all of this lined up. Like so. Let's get that lined up there and that lined up there. And then we can put, we can actually put berries in all of this area. I want to get rid of this. All right, let's think about how we're going to do this bit. So if we bring, how tall is that? That is the same height as that. Okay. It can kind of connect onto um, onto the housing complex there. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. And then we can make stairway down here and a stairway here. But they have this stairway, so that's not too bad. If we do something like this. That would give them better access to this area. Then they've got that. Then we've got district gate or a district center, which will most probably go here like this, but we need to get rid of this district first. And then we can put some, uh, I want to kind of move this forward actually. So let's delete that path in. Is that not too needed right now? That was the wrong path in. Let's do this one. We'll put that like that because I want to kind of put, um, kind of want to put some stuff around this. So I want to get some fencing because again, we love our safety. Looks a bit weird though. Ah, it's all right. Let me get some bushes here and then we get some benches like so. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I could actually make fencing go all the way along. It will kind of add to the little theme, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with wasting their materials because we've got to make it look good, right? So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, <laughs> so this is going to get a little bit bigger. So we've got to do this all the way along here. We've got to delete these bad boys like so we'll prioritize that they get that done asap we're also gonna put um it along here like so and how far do you want it to go i think Here is a good point. So if we bring it over like this. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you're going to see what I'm doing here. We're going to sort of square it off here. Like so. And then we'll just fill this in with platforms. And that way it can look a bit more unified. There we go. 
like that, like that, and last little bit, done. Okay, so have they done all this? Lovely. And then we can do that. And then we can get fencing everywhere. Because <laughs> that's not a waste of materials. We can do it like this. If we want to open this up later on, we can. And then that continues the fencing over to here. And then down to here. Like so. That kind of like makes it its own little section. And then we've got ways to get off over here and over here. It might make the entrances a little bit more elaborate. Like something like that. You know what? I'm not too fast. I, I, I like this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. All right. So we've got this going. We've got this going. Then we're going to need a uh, forester up here just to get the bushes down. So we put one here. That would make a decent area for us to use. We can actually start rearranging this path in as well because we've got this section here. So we don't have to take up our land, which is good. Another benefit. But I won't delete that just yet. I'll wait for them to build. Actually, we don't need to go up here, do we? So I can delete that right now. Don't need to go up there just yet. Do that. And actually, no. Just bit. And that looks okay to me. we we'll put this right here. And that sort of makes little sections for us. And then we can plant our berries. We've got a lot of berries to plant. Once we um, get the forest down and all that, we will think about putting uh, gatherers. Do that like that. Put that there. Hopefully, we can get enough um, water here but if we don't we can always put another uh, irrigation center of somewhere and do that like that that's looking okay I don't want to delete these two so we can make the path in straight and then we can put some more berries here we, we, we need a lot of berries we're gonna need a lot of berries and like this so we may even expand out down to here but we'll wait for a bit okay so they've actually got quite a lot to do got quite a lot to do so i'm gonna let them get on with that and i'll see you guys in a sec and just like that we have our towers fully complete and all the breeding berries that we would ever need and all the water that we would ever need breed. But I have pulled them all because we don't want to over flood our town with kiddie beavers. So what does that leave left? And we got all this done, which is great. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. I might open this up and make like a little uh, off cliff observatory. But we can think about that in the cleanup episode where we make everything look pretty. So the last thing we need to do is power. Now, quick uh, update. I'm going to be playing a demo called Ixion um, over the next couple of days. And I won't stop doing Sapiens or Timberborn, but it will just come out in between them. So look out for that. It's a pretty cool game. It's a space colony builder sort of type of game. I didn't play the demo on Steam last time it came out, but this time I'm going to do it. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so we need this to get deleted we need to put a power line here that like that that like that 
and that should be absolutely fine. And then that will be going all along here into here. So we then need to get, oh, can we even do this? Ah, oh, we might not be able to because it's an arch. I thought it was a platform. Ah, that that is a shame. And it doesn't actually connect onto that, does it? Hmm. What is another way we can do this? We could actually do it here. Hidden over here. And then we could most probably... How would we get it over to this one though? We could elevate this stuff, like the bushes, and put the um, wire underneath. Hmm, that might be the play. So if we delete this, and there's a platform there, okay, that's, that's okay, we can do that. We can then do this bad boy, and then Oh, is that? Oh. Okay, no, don't do that. We do it. We do it here like this. Then we do something like that. And we get this around. And once we carry up this area, It shouldn't be too bad. We'll make it so you can't really see it. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this off camera because you don't need to see this. I'm gonna delete all of these, lift them up. You know what? I'll show you. I'll show you why not. It's just gonna take literally a few seconds. If I just do that, we're gonna put that like that. And then we're going to put that and then we're going to put the bushes back. Um, but I will let them do that for the next episode because that is going to take a little bit of time. Something like that. Okay, and that will power these two bad boys. And then the power outlet is actually here. So let's just double check that it's all connected up. Yeah, that seems all connected to me. Seems absolutely lovely. It could have actually went this way, couldn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. And then we didn't need that bit. But oh well, we, we did it. <laughs> we did it. So then we have this bad boy here. Coming out. And we are going to bring that down to this one over here. Here. Now I need to find, there we go, that's the connector. That's the connector I'm looking for. We're going to actually make a little doorway. And we're going to make one here. And that should be absolutely perfect. Bring that down here. And then we just need to make it go up at the top here. So it'll be this line here. We'll come down here, go along here. Come down here, go along here and come down here. So we we'll just need a few platforms or well, quite a lot with this one. That is a lot of platforms, <laughs> but we're going to do that. And we'll just put it like, whoops, like so. And going all the way down so you get the idea i'm actually going to do that offline but you kind of get the plan that's going to happen and on the next episode that should be done we will tidy up on the next episode this area we'll get all, rid of all the trees that we don't want all the berries that we don't want and just do some final finishing touches to it then this kid farm 
<laughs> it's, you know what? We're going to call it Kid Farm. I, I, we're going to do that. Um, it's going to actually be ready. Oh, let's actually get them to here. So let's delete that. Let's put that like that. And it should all be back working. And that should be able to reach multiple places except for here. This last bit, literally the last bit. So we're going to have to make some sort of better path in to get over there. Where can I increase the path in? I can mostly make a... Mm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We might use this place as a little garden as well. But yeah, we'll figure it out. So on the next episode, we're going to tidy up a bit. We're going to finish off this district and we can finally finally move on to the last district i have for the current update so the last district is going to be a science district we're going to build a massive town that is just dedicated to science so guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope to see you in the next one peace <laughs>